Now that the weather is decidedly much more gorgeous and only expected to get better, I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, where can I go with my family and friends that's fun and exciting and also has a classic atmosphere? Why not try out the Barrel Factory? Let's go inside. Tara Bystrand is the co-owner of Barrel Factory and has been gracious enough to show us around. Thank you so much for this tour. Yes, let's take a look oh upstairs. My gosh. Let's go. Wow, this upstairs space, I love the lights. I love the way that everything is kind of pulled together with a theme. Well, we want it to be comfortable, but we also want it to be inspiring. We have um, like a repurposed wood, some of the original flooring, antique chandeliers that we found in the city, twinkle lights, just kind of giving you a feeling of warmth without it being you know, lit too brightly. The whole point here is intimacy. Right. So you can come and have that conversation and just feel kind of like nestled in. I'm loving the antique furniture. I have to give all the credit to my mother, co-owner, Andrea Bystrin. She has always done an enormous job of like going out into the world and finding gems, bringing them back. We like clean them up, we stain them, we put them back together and it's got that like antique repurposed effect. Well, she did a fantastic job for sure. You can also see here uh, the bar top. My parents actually made it out of copper and you can see they had a lot of fun with natural elements and the chemicals making that patina finish. It's gorgeous. Yeah. A lot of weddings are actually done right here on the bridge, but also when you look down, you can see the distillery floor below. So we have all of our equipment down there, the stills, we have a whiskey still and a vodka still. Is there a best time to come? Absolutely. Well, so Friday and Saturday are busier. Oh yeah. Um, Wednesday is the time to come if you want wings because all of our varieties are half off. We got our boozleberry wings here, oh. traditional buffalo hot wings, mm -hmm. our Old First Ward honey mustard wings, and then our Munchie Man's 911 wings. Thursday or Thursday as we're calling it. Thursday. If you want to make sure you're in front of the fireplace or tucked into a beautiful window spot or in the lounge, like in one of the couch areas. You can bring people in and there are no screens. We do have one space where you can watch the game, but most of the building is about that like in-person time. We're pretending the internet isn't there and we're just connecting with each other. We also have our elevated buffalo dishes, which would include our buffalo beef on Weck Wellington. Mm -hmm. I wanna uh, hear what Gordon Ramsay has to say about that. <laughs> and then we have our uh, buffalo cordon bleu. And yeah. what do we have right here and in the center? this is uh, a raviolo made with our whiskey braised short rib. Yeah. There's only one thing I can say or do. One thing. I'm gonna go finish this food. And because we have so many tables, it's not a place where there's gonna be someone eyeing you to get the check. We don't care about flipping your table. We want you to like connect, play a board game, like stare at the candles and have a good time. We're going now to your downstairs bar because we yeah. have a surprise in store. Yeah, so let's meet in the tasting room. Ooh, this is your tasting room. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So the tasting room is in between the distillery and the patio. So you have windows on one side and then windows to the inside on the other. So you can see in there and you can see our stills. What's going on over here? So this is one of our tasting flights or oh goodness, two of our tasting Ew. place. Let's take our drinks outside because the weather has been getting so much better. Finally. This is the experience that I think a lot of people have been waiting for, correct? Yes, let's take it outside. Right. We always have four or five different kinds of mules and you can choose your favorite four and get a flight. So what I chose is the classic, like the ginger lime. And then because Buffalo, we have Logan Berry. We have a spice berry and also cranberry, which I love. You had me at mule. Yeah. <laughs> and what do I have in front of me? So we make house seltzers. This is my mom's invention. It's a strawberry basil. And I feel like it just tastes like warm outside time. Here's green apple. And then we have a nice dark lager and we have a local rootstock cider. Cheers. Woo! A full belly and plenty of leftovers. Well, if you'd like to try out the Barrel Factory yourself, make sure you do. It's located right here in the Old First Ward. And if you do come out, let us know what you think. One more reason to visit the Barrel Factory after seeing all that. You know what? They're also hiring. Can you imagine a cooler place to work? Nope. If you would like a job with the Barrel Factory, make sure you check them out. So. Go have something to eat, yep. go have something to drink, and apply for a job. Are they hiring a taste <laughs> tester? I would hope so. Yes, you hire check me. it out. Head to their website and see what their <laughs> job opportunities are. It's definitely worth a trip.